After spending a day at Kanomo Base Camp, it was time for the summit climb to the Kanomo Peak which is at a height of 19,600 feet. Even though the weather on the previous day was bad, on the summit day it appeared all good and we got a go ahead from our trek lead. The summit attempt starts as early as 3 or 4 am in the morning. You cross the first stretch in the morning at dawn. Look out for the far off mountain ranges and the ever changing golden hour colors in the sky. The gradient is difficult in this slope as many get high altitude sickness here if not prepared well. Also it is a continuous ascent to the peak. As there is no option to camp anywhere in between, you will have to descend back to Kanamo base camp which will take around 3 hours provided everything goes as per the plan. As you go further, look out for interesting stones here in this stretch as many of them are likely to be of plant or animal fossils. You will spot repositories of fossils of all types everywhere around. Here is what we found, a fish fossil and a few shells up in the Himalayan mountains which was once under sea. On the way up, we could see the wild yak and Himalayan ibex. In rare cases, you can even find snow leopard. Soon we were heading towards the second stretch in the mountain. This walk of about 4-5 to five hours is the last leg of the climb, a steep ascent of about 70-80 to 80 degrees on the scree slopes. Note that there is no water source anywhere around and the nearest water source is at Kanomo base camp. A cold weather jacket is a must at this altitude since the early morning breeze is of ice cold. The entire ascent is on scree from here. This is where I could no longer climb and could clearly see the signs of altitude sickness. Only a few could make it to the summit. I could hardly see anything around and had to almost get trek lead support to stand still. Altitude sickness is dangerous and can even cause death and I did not want to take any kind of risk here. I can clearly see that most of us were not acclimatized and almost half of the team had the same trouble. We were now close to 18,000 feet. I could hardly capture any photos here and my only aim at this time was not the summit but to get back to a lower altitude in order to recover from altitude sickness. I finally managed to get back to Kanomo base camp and spent the evening inside my tent lying still. I managed to recover the next day morning and continued our descent to Kiba village. That was my story of an attempt to climb the Kanomo summit which is at almost 70% the height of Mount Everest. <laughs> <laughs>